Hello everybody, Jean back with more mind-blowing Mars anomalies. We're looking at megaliths that are spotted at a site near Bosporus Rupes in the southern mid-latitudes in a region called Argaia Planitia. Bairai's camera captured this photograph on the 31st of July 2024. Resolution 25.7 cm per pixel. I'll be showing you images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And there's a look at this huge dune field. And some of these anomalies I'll be showing you are these brighter white specks that litter this terrain. So for context, Argaia Planitia is outlined to the top. And the site is in the circular depression near Bosporus Rupes. This is at roughly 43 degrees, 47 minutes south, 56 degrees, 26 minutes west. So to get the ball rolling, let's have a look at the block highlighted there. Each side of this block is about 5 meters in length. Check out the symmetry and geometry of this piece. 90 degree angles. Each side is about 5 meters in length and then in the center we've got that round object. It looks almost like a lid or a hatch or perhaps it's a protrusion or knob that was placed there on this block and it was manufactured. Who knows folks. Then we've got various fragments and blocks scattered about here in a pile. Let's single out this item. I'd say it's about 6 to 8 meters in length. Again, nice symmetry and geometry, smooth flat sides, right angles and parallel edges. Another perfect example of these megaliths that I find all over Mars. Let's have a look at the one highlighted there. That's 20 10. So I'd say the long side is about 8 to 10 meters in length. And again, we've got right angles, straight edges, and then this carved out piece or chipped out piece here in one corner. Again, a nice example of the megaliths on Mars. And then the last one I've chosen is this one there, folks. Let's see, 2010, I'd say the long side is about 12 meters in length, a nice 90 degree angles, and then this parallel part running across the block. I don't know what to make of this, folks. It looks like some type of design. Right, let's head on to Argaia Planitia, to the top northern edge, to this region called Bosporus Rupes, known as a scrap. And the site we're looking at is in that circular depression. And at the time of this video, the high rise team had not loaded the photograph to Google Earth Mars. So let's have a look at those thumbnails that are pinned to that site, just briefly in summary. The symmetry and geometry of these first two anomalies is mind-blowing. 
Right, let's have a look at one other site to see what else is close by. This is more to the east. Possible opening in Nerida Montes. Check that out, folks. If I can recall correctly, that opening is about 30 meters across. It looks like there's a trench and some material has been removed from that opening. And then this odd piece about 12 meters in length it's got a sort of a metallic look to it I don't know what to make of this folks this piece sticking out of that sort of opening right let's have a look at a site down to the southeast This is near Salaga. Check that item out. Looks almost like some type of craft that crashed there. Three long narrow parts next to one another. That darker dome like part in the center of that one side. Also, a strange disc behind it. In that weird metallic piece, well, it looks metallic in my opinion. It's got a strange pattern on it or design, like an opening on the right hand edge, and then this perfectly symmetrical piece with that circular part in its center. This looks like an avocado pear that's cut in half. That's weird, but the symmetry and geometry of this is just mind blowing. And that's about eight meters in length. So what do you guys and girls think these things might be? We've seen so many of these square megalithic type objects with the round parts in their centers. Could this be an underground bunker and the sands moved away exposing the structure or if we look at megalithic blocks at ancient sites in South America we've got the blocks with the protrusions and knobs on them. Is it one of those? And taken into context with this one are we looking at a possible megalithic structure that was decimated in the distant past with much of the remains covered in sand? I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Let's have a chat in the comments. I look forward to reading those. As always, thanks for watching.